Hello friends, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Online. Today I will show you how to design a pamphlet in uh, Corel Draw. There was many requests from my subscribers uh, that they want to know uh, about Corel Draw, how to design the pamphlet. So I have taken a subject uh, like uh, the pamphlet will be uh, the pamphlet can be posted on social media and media network that will be uh, job openings. Uh, for a studio for animation studio or animation academy so let's get started uh, with the first lesson I start my coral draw and uh, I'll take a new document I'll take A4 size first and the generally the size of a pamphlet is half of a4 uh, half of a4 page so i'll just go in inches uh, this one and the divide between 12 I'll make a round figure of it should be 8 8 by 12 actual so i'll make six here so i'll double click and it will be minus six so this is uh, what the size is so this is six and this is eight so i'll take new page this is only to show you how i get a size of an uh, one eight size generally it's called a one eight size of a pamphlet so this is what we got uh, the the length will be 8 and the width will be 6 so we can change here itself uh, so 6 and 8 so this is what is the size and the same we can push and say 6 it's by 8 so I'll double click on the rectangle so we'll get a rectangle over here and I'll jump to I'll jump with the fountain fill there's a gradient and somewhat the color scheme will be orange to yellow so oh, I'll take your say orange dark orange slightly dark orange now the second color will be somewhat yellow not some proper yellow it's going to be something like this and let's say ok and this is the horizontal uh, it has happened but I want to go and I want to say just linear it's minus 90 degree say ok so the first thing somewhat here I'll make uh, some symbol over here that will be a job opening and till here will be the contents this will be the contained parts and here will be the contact details so here will be the contact details so now what I'll do is I'll make some shape some kind of uh, there are ready-made shapes something like this uh, banners or uh, there are some kind of shapes generally people use uh, something like this but uh, these are the some uh, boring shapes I feel uh, the same thing uh, the same presets uh, we have to use it instead of that uh, will some make a shield something kind of award or shield something kind of uh, symbol on that uh, we will write uh, job openings and uh, so I'll just go say in Bezier and any like uh, it's not something like that it's just uh, this is a guideline from here so I'll make uh, here and 
slightly curve and maybe you're like this and what I'll do is I'll just flip this if you see down uh, it's uh, X scaling so 100% so I can say right click I'll make a copy of it now I'll click shift select click over here press shift and multiple selection I'll say weld so it's not seeing uh, it's not you know uh, object like a, it's it's like a kite so we have to correct that I'll go in shapes shape tool and make sure it is weld properly so what I'll do is I'll just click and now it has been weld just press zoom and make sure this point is weld properly now it's done press zoom so slightly I can make here and over here something like this this is fine I'll make somewhat so it won't look like a, a kite now it's fine you just see the corners I'll make it cusp and this is what I feel we can make the changes I'll make a cusp so only one will affect it now I'll say dark brown in this because this is towards orange so I'll take dark brown uh, B say color palette CMYK is on yes still I want some black into it so I'll press control on my keyboard and click once what happens I'll press press control you can add a black shade slightly black shade control click will just add slightly black shade fine and outline will be white so I'll make some prominent outline to it just feel there will be some point or the other so what I'll do is slightly I'll make a point we'll add two points over here on this mid part so one point will be here one point will be here one point will be yeah so one point will be here one point will be here simple just uh oh I 
it's happening like this I'll just say cusp only this this part I want inside select all and say cusp slightly inside the curve like this now it gives some identity now I don't want this guidelines so I'll just remove it now I'll make a copy of it say inside press shift and right click so I'll make a copy of it like this and I don't want inside to fill so I'll click inside like this and I want only line it will be some around like hairline two or three and what I'll do is uh, is the only outline and I don't want to visible through and through so I'll give some transparency to it transparency tool is transparency tool so I don't want this part The only way to get this is I have to convert this part convert outline to object so it's the best option so click and say transparency it, it works very good and the output is very fast So click and again I'll make copy shift and drag inside what happens uh, just right click yeah now I want the transparency should affect on this side I don't want to visible it and so we'll take then ribbon and we'll add some text and we'll go with designing the background and first so so this was the tutorial for the first part and if you like my this tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you have some kind of doubts do let me know and if you want some kind of tutorial do let me know so that I can make for you and uh, thanks for watching meet you in next part